do not mask difficulties because you fail to deal with load shedding in the country. Now that he has failed and he has chosen to depart, we welcome the immediate departure as the ANC of Mr. De Reiter from ESCOM as announced by the board. ANC Secretary General not holding back that the outgone ESCOM CEO Andre De Reiter has failed. Former ESCOM Group CEO Andre De Reiter has claimed that the ANC wants to eat fraudulently from the just transition of the power utility from coal. De Reiter's comments come as he exits the power utility, however bringing back the era of state capture and corruption, an era which President Ramaphosa said was over when he received the first part of the State Capture Commission report. These recommendations provide the foundation for greater transparency, for accountability and ethical conduct within all state institutions and across society as a whole. State-owned enterprises were captured and used as a feeding trough for the corrupt according to the state capture report. President Ramaphosa's administration over the years portrayed itself as corruptionless and having no appetite of keeping the corrupt in the public space. Now the former GCEO has claimed one minister, an ANC leader, told him to allow a few people to eat. Those, in the words of President Sir Ramaphosa, go against the administration's ethos and ethics. I wish to acknowledge and commend the actions of the people of our country, South Africans, who shared determination to end corruption and to demand clean governance enabled the establishment and the work of the Commission. Without the people of our country showing the determination that they did to confront corruption in the public sector, the work of the Commission would not have yielded the type of results that we are seeing today. It was the people of this country who, in their various formations, stood up to what they saw as acts of gross wrongdoing and abuse of power. The ANC says Andre Terreta has failed to end load shedding and is now deflecting from his failures. ESCOM has been implementing unprecedented stage 6 load shedding frequently and some say moving to stage 7 under Terreta's leadership. ANC Secretary General Figil Mbalula has labelled the Reiter as a right-wing ideologue who has exposed himself. He has completely failed to deliver on this contractual obligation. Instead, he shifts the goalposts by advertising his right-wing ideological posture on a matter that falls outside the scope of his employment contract. He was the CEO, after all. Don't make flimsy allegations about involvement of people in corruption when you were at the helm. You were the CEO. Expose corruption. We challenge you so that law enforcement can deal with it. The ANC has challenged the Reiter to go and report all the corruption that took place at ESCOM during his tenure to law enforcement agencies. If there are corrupt people who are promoting corruption, they happen to have the label of being ANC members or serve in any capacity in government, the Reiter and others have got an obligation to expose them. The ANC does not, corrupt, does not support corruption. The ANC is not corrupt. We have established state capture in this country. Our own president appeared before state capture. Our own budget speaks to the implementation and support financially our state institutions to get rid and to be empowered to deal with elements of state capture. We will in no way mask or uh, protect corrupt individuals. 
if the rater knows who is corrupt at ESCOM, let him expose that. He must not say that the ANC wants a piece of cake in renewable and just transition a program of government. I am speaking on behalf of the ANC and I challenge him that if he's got anything, he must come to me and he must go to the police. That here is somebody in the entity talking on behalf of the ANC and demanding this and that. And all professionals, not only the rater, serving in the SOEs, must act ethical. State-owned enterprises like Prasa, Transnet, Danel, SAA, ESCOM and the SABC in the State Capture Report are at the center of those who milked the state. According to Andre Derata, corruption still continues at the crumbling power utility. But will he approach law enforcement agencies? Only time will tell. Samkei Masego, SABC News, Johannesburg.